I recently set off on an overnight adventure camping trip to explore some beautiful hot springs in Arizona. The purpose of the adventure was to test out some new gear while also documenting the ride. Episode number one of this four part series is about the first leg of the trip while reviewing the boots that I'm currently testing out. These are the boots that I'll be using during my upcoming travels and I wanted to take this opportunity to talk a little bit about my initial opinion of them. So I have some new gear to test out and I figured the best way to go about that was to set off on a little adventure and put some of this gear to good use. This video is the first of a four part series where I'll be testing out a different piece of gear in each video as I make my way down to some hot springs. These videos are not only to review this new equipment, but also to share the experience of the adventure. Today we're starting our journey north of Cave Creek, Arizona, as we talk about my initial thoughts on the Forma Adventure boots. This is a ride I've done quite a few times. It's a well-traveled road, but uh, it's very remote. I mean, you're very far from town or any kind of medical help. And there's a lot of big drops out here. It's like, you know, it's not like a crazy um, difficult road, but there's not a lot of room for error. Anyways, about these boots, so I'm planning on doing quite a bit of off-road uh, in my travels this summer. You know, I, I don't always wear uh, the most protective footwear on a bike, especially when I'm traveling because it's such a pain to have boots that are protective and not good for walking, or you can have boots that are good for walking and are not quite as protective. That's kind of the, the balance I was trying to strike that led me to the Forma Adventure Boots, is that balance between protection and comfort. These things are pretty comfortable to walk around in considering they go up just below my knees. You know, I really didn't feel like I was wearing motocross boots. Like I had to remember, like remind myself like, oh yeah, I'm out here to make a video about these boots and I didn't even realize I was wearing them when I was walking around. That balance between safety and comfort means there is probably a compromise uh, in safety. Oh, that is incredible. Uh, I just love this stuff. I love being out here in the dirt. I mean, even the people you see out here, they're just a different different type of person. Um, I'm not saying there aren't good people on the pavement. I'm just saying that, I don't know. Percentage-wise, I'd be willing to bet when you're out here that people, there's a much higher percentage of awesome people out here. <laughs> just based on, you know, my traffic. Uh, interactions in Phoenix on pavement. <laughs> Ooh, that was a lot of bees. Ugh. Ugh. I just got stung the other day and it was really not fun while I was riding. I think I'm gonna pull over here in a minute. Take a little break after I get down this hill. There's a pretty cool spot over here. Uh, these rock formations are really neat. So we'll just go check that out. So as I'm filming this video, I'm starting to get the sense that it is probably gonna be a long one. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump back on the bike, get over to another pretty cool section of this road that I wanna show you guys, and we'll talk a little more about the boots over there. So just a couple quick facts while we're enjoying the scenery. Price of these boots right now is coming in at 279 US dollars. According to Former, their adventure boots are designed to work effectively as road boots with some nice dual sport features and a lightweight construction for greater rider agility and bike control. 
Little side note about these boots, it says on Forma's website, due to the special lightweight sole design, these boots are not recommended for use with kickstart bikes or bikes with aggressive motocross style foot pegs. Now I gotta say I've been doing a decent amount of standing up, although the camera angle doesn't look great when I'm standing, so I haven't been using a lot of that footage. However, I have been standing up quite a bit today, especially through these water crossings and some of the rockier washouts. And I've definitely found that these boots are great, comfortable, and sturdy when standing on the bike. I also have the Comfort uh, Enduro foot pegs, I believe they're called. They have a little rubber padding on the top of them. These boots come with a 12-month warranty. They are CE Level 2 protection. These boots are full-grained oil leather, dry-tex waterproof, lightweight construction, adventure anti-slip sole, stainless steel shank, injection molded shin plate, plastic gear pad protection, unbreakable GH buckles, adjustable straps, Velcro collar closure, TPU reinforced ankle area, extra soft polymer padding, antibacterial insole, and they're made in Europe. So, I saw this beautiful water and I just couldn't resist finding out if these boots are actually as waterproof as promised. Two thumbs up. Uh, they, I was up almost to the top of the boot, um, just walking around, um, pretty decent water flow behind me, and my feet are not damp or anything. I mean, I don't feel any difference uh, whatsoever. Um, so waterproof, definitely. So I gotta say, I am really enjoying these boots. Uh, they're super comfortable. They feel sturdy enough. Um, I haven't crashed in them. Fingers crossed that I don't. If I do happen to go down today on the bike, I will let you guys know how they hold up. Um, but honestly, they feel pretty sturdy. Now I have actually gotten my foot pinned in between the uh, hard cases on this bike and the ground. Um, I went over one time in some sand, um, toppled over onto a hill, sort of a, an incline um, and my, my left foot got pinned in the, between the ground and the case. Uh, it was not pretty. This is a heavy bike. Uh, my foot was hurting for a long time after that. I never went and got x-rays, but I'd be willing to bet something got messed up in that ankle area. <laughs> These boots feel a lot more sturdy than the boots I was wearing on that day when I got the bike pinned on my foot. I'd be willing to bet these would hold up a lot better uh, than, than those other basically essentially hiking boots I was wearing that day. So I don't recommend if you guys are going off road that you go with anything other than uh, a motorcycle boot, either you know an adventure boot or a full on motocross boot. Uh, even though this looks like a motocross boot, I would really put this in the classification of uh, an adventure boot, meaning it's, it's they're a little more um, comfortable for walking in, which makes them more more kind of in line with uh, 
the needs you would have if you were traveling long term. If you were just going out to race around on your bike in the dirt and on the trails for the day, a full-on motocross boot is perfectly acceptable. Uh, if you're going to be traveling, possibly hiking around, um, checking out towns, walking through stores, um, spending you know a decent amount of time on your feet uh, when you travel on a motorcycle, these are a great option because they are very comfortable walking around in them. I don't feel like I'm in a motocross boot at all, so so they're pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I'm happy with them so far, and, and I'll definitely keep you guys updated as things progress and I get a little more use out of them. Um, but yeah, pretty pretty excellent so far. This spot is absolutely beautiful. Um, little creek over here. Um, this is gonna come in really handy on the way out because I only have two bottles of water, but I did bring my Sawyer squeeze with me. So I should be able to get some good water around here. Um, I actually know for sure though, there are several other water crossings. Uh, yeah. Ah, I never get enough of this. <laughs> So anyways, I am going to keep heading down towards the hot springs. Something tells me I'm probably not going to make it out there today. Uh, so I will continue this adventure in another video. Uh, so yeah, that about wraps up this video. Uh, about halfway to the hot springs at this point. Like I said, there's going to be about four videos in this series where I talk a little bit about the gear I'm testing out as I'm out here. But more importantly, that we just kind of go on an adventure together. I, I really wanted to... Um, share this with you guys. I'm getting ready to do a uh, shakedown trip next week, like I said, so I'm going to take you guys along for that as well. Um, yeah, that's about it. I will leave a link in the description below if you guys want to check out these boots. Um, if you're doing any kind of traveling or adventure riding like me, I uh, highly, highly recommend them. They are awesome so far. Um, we'll definitely be keeping you guys posted as I get some more long-term use out of them, see how they hold up to the abuse that I am about to put them through <laughs> in the next few months. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully we make it to the hot springs uh, next time around. Um, like I said, we're about halfway there. So uh, one or two more videos. <laughs> All right, guys. See you in the next video.